Hi everyone, this is Hamid. In this video, I'm going to explain how we can build a cladogram from a simple character matrix. Here we have our taxa, which are A, B, C, D, E, and F, and our characters are eyes, appendages, legs, wings, and fur. We need to assume that the taxa with the largest number of zeros are ancestral. Here, D has the largest number of zeros, so we will put D on the tree first. Next, we need to find the closest taxa to D by counting how many differences we see between the features of D and the features of other taxa. So here, C has only one difference with D, so C will be the next taxon that goes on the tree. We need to ask this question whether there are any synapomorphies or shared derived characters for C and D. If the answer is yes, the tree will look like this and we will put the synapomorphy on the branch that leads to D and C. If there are no synapomorphies for C and D, the tree will look like this. So this is the case, so we'll draw the tree like this and in the next step we need to find the closest taxon to C by counting the differences between the features of C and the features of other taxa. So A is the closest to C. There is only one difference between A and C and we need to ask the same question again are there any synapomorphies for A and C? If the answer is yes, we draw a tree like this and the synapomorphy goes on the branch that leads to A and C. If there are no synapomorphies, we draw a tree like this and continue. We need to find the closest taxon to A. In this case, it's B. And we ask the same question, are there synapomorphies for A and B? The answer is yes, legs, so we did draw the tree like this and put the synapomorphy on the tree on the branch that leads to A and B. The next question is, uh, what's the closest taxon to B? The answer is F. And the same question, are there any synapomorphies for F and B? The answer is no, so F goes on the tree like that. And the last empty spot on the tree is occupied by the last taxon that we haven't included on the tree already, which is E. In the end, we need to map all the other characters on the tree based on the principles of parsimony, meaning using the smallest number of steps. We have eyes. Eyes will go at the bottom here because all of them have eyes. Next, next is appendages. Appendages are in A, B, C, and F. So we put appendages down here and then we use an X sign to indicate that E has lost appendages. Wings are the next. We put wings down here because they're shared by E and F and B has it also. The alternative solution for wings could have been adding wings down here and crossing them on A. And fur is shared, shared between A, E and F. We need to remember that we need to always start with the groups with the largest number of zeros or ancestral characters for building a cladogram. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video.